Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Sabre 36BHQ. This particular model is in the Espresso interior. This is one of my favorite style of floor plans and you see it in a lot of different manufacturers and everyone kind of has their own little twist on it. And essentially what it is, is it is a mid bunk or a loft style model. Uh, the reason I really like it is if you're like me and you have little ones, Generally, you have to give up the entire back half of the camper to bunks. And to be honest, this is where all the main, you know, all the best features happen are generally in the rear of your RV. So I like this style setup because as you can see, you still get an awesome living area. You have dual opposing slides here, really opening this space up, uh, allowing for a center island kitchen here as well as a nice big living space. Over here in the super slide, you see freestanding table and chairs, uh, which are nice because you have a lot of different sleeping areas in this camper. You don't really need the dinette here. And personally, I think the freestanding tables have a nicer appeal to them. Also, you do have some storage underneath the seats here as well. You'll see you have roller shades throughout the RV, which are great. You don't have to worry about your standard blinds bending or breaking on you. Uh, you know, the roller shades just work very well. Plus, I like the fact about with a beige instead of a black. That way, if you shut them during the day, uh, you know, it still is nice and, uh, or even at night, rather, when you do shut them, it's still nice and airy in here. It doesn't feel like, you know, the walls are closing in on you. You'll see plenty of lights throughout. You know, you have the nice decorative lights up top here, the wall scones uh, right over here, LED lights up top here as well. Uh, right over here is your theater seating. And again, I love this setup. You know, this is a common setup you see in a lot of rear living floor plans where you have your theater seating directly across from your TV and the couch in the back. And that's how this one is set up. And again, for good reason, it works well. This is what I want. I want to be able to sit here and look straight at the TV and not have to crane my neck. But the thing I really love about this theater seating, obviously it does kick back so you can relax. It has four cup holders, but take a look at this right here. You have some LED lights on there where your cup holder lights up. You also have LED lights underneath. It has heat and massage. So, you know, even if you don't use the heat, because a lot of people don't camp in the colder weather, that massage is an awesome feature. You want to talk about ultimate, ultimate relaxation, that is the way to do it. Uh, right along the back here is the sofa on either side you see you have an end table uh, that way you know if you need to have like a laptop or something there you can put it there a tablet or you know if you want to put your beverage there but on both sides you also have electrical outlets and dual usb ports so you can charge those electronic devices not only is this couch comfortable to sit on, it's comfortable to sleep on. Uh, this is what they call a tri-fold sofa. I talk about it in a lot of my videos. It is the preferable type of sleeper sofa. Uh, but you know, I've, getting, I've been getting a lot of comments on showing how it actually works. So today I'm gonna do exactly that. Now bear in mind, uh, a lot of the tri-folds set up slightly differently. Some of them, you know, uh, use these cushions here. Some of them use the cushions on the back. They're all a little bit different, but th th for the most part, they're pretty similar. Basically, you take off the top cushions, just like I did right there. You reach right here. You'll see this one pulls out just like so. You have a couple legs here, fold the legs out. We'll set this down. And then you take this back piece and then you fold that down just like so. And that's literally all there is to it. So the great thing about a tri-fold is it's almost as fast to set up as a jackknife, uh, but it's extremely comfortable. You don't have your, you know, like your standard pullout where you have a bar on your back. I mean, look, this is what you're actually sleeping on. You actually get cushioned to sleep on, which is great. And setting it up is just, uh, or putting it back rather, is just as easy. It's basically just like that. You fold the back part up, lift this up, you fold up your two legs, the couch, just folds right back down and then you take your cushions and you put your cushions back. Nice and simple, just like so. Uh, but as I mentioned, if you do have additional guests, you know that they'll have a comfortable night's sleep. They're not going to wake up hating you in the morning. Nice big rear picture window. Take a look at that too. If you have an awesome view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it in here. Plus it lets in a lot of natural light. I have it closed right now for uh, film reasons. Otherwise it blacks a lot of things out, but trust me, that one definitely brings a lot of light into the RV. Up top here, you'll see you have the fluted glass and nice brushed nickel poles, storage going all the way across the top there. Uh, because they are high, you know, I kind of wish the manufacturer would have put, uh, put some struts in there, but you know, either way, you probably have to have a step stool, so you'll probably be up there with both arms anyway. Uh, right across the way, as I mentioned, across from the theater seating, you see the entertainment center. Again, the fluted glass with storage up top here, nice deep storage. 
You know, this is something that Sabre does a pretty good job of. A lot of manufacturers don't give you much storage in the entertainment center, uh, but generally in a Sabre, you'll find they're pretty deep. So good storage up top there. But underneath is your TV. You do have storage behind the TV as well. Uh, it is on a swing arm mount, it can pull this out. If you take a look in there again, you can see you do have ample storage. So if you need to hide some things back, back there, you can do that. You know, maybe you wanna hide your, I don't know, books, liquor bottles, DVDs. I don't care what you put back there, but either way, uh, it is some good extra storage. And as I mentioned, TV straight across in the theater seating. If you wanna turn it toward the couch, you can do that. Turn it toward the kitchen so you can watch a show while cooking, sure. Right underneath is your multimedia center. Uh, definitely want to remove this tag here, but this unit is your radio and CD player, controls the speakers inside as well as outside. Uh, it's also Bluetooth capable and it's a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in there, you can watch it here on the TV. Directly underneath that is your nice modern Furion 30 inch fireplace. The thing I like about this fireplace, uh, you know, and just like with any uh, fireplace in an RV, is that not only does this look really nice, but also uh, this is just basically a big space heater. Uh, you know, it can heat up to 500 square foot, so, eh, so they claim. Uh, but either way, you know, it, it does a good job of taking the chill off in this immediate space, right here, um, you know, in your main living area. And if you, have, if you don't have to pay for electric, that is free heat. That way you don't have to use any propane. So I do like that feature. Let's talk Center Island Kitchen. Something I love, many people do in their RV. Uh, in order to get this, as I mentioned, you have to have the dual opposing slides to have enough room to be able to walk around both sides. But it's definitely great for prep space. You know, all this is good prep surface. Uh, they put the sink in here, as you would expect. Nice high rise industrial style faucet there, sink top cover, so you can utilize that as prep space as well. When we take the cover off, that gets you your double undermount stainless steel bowls there. So that way you can wash and rinse dishes nice and easily. On the front, I do want to point out, I believe it's right over here, you have dual USB port as well as a standard outlet there. So if you need to plug in, you know, again, cell phones or blenders, whatever it may be, there's the spot to do it. Right over here in the front, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. Notice how the top one does have your silverware divider in there for you. It's already built in. The other ones obviously will not. That way you can have some of your bigger items like your spatulas, large knives, things like that. Directly underneath the sink, you do have enough room there if you want to put a trash can. That's probably personally where I'd put it, but you know whatever else you want to stick under there, you have the room to do it. Right over to the side, you have a pantry. This pantry does have a light right up top here too. Um, you know, personally, I love having a pantry in an RV. I think it's almost essential. I have a pantry at home. I fill up with food. I do the exact same thing in an RV. Um, you will also notice that these shelves don't go all the way to the front. They have a little bit of space here. I like that too because it gives you a spot, you know, if you want to put a broom or a mop in here, you're able to actually put them in there, it, you know, because normally you just don't have a good spot for it. So this will allow for that. Moving into the rest of the kitchen, just a little bit of storage right up top, microwave right over to the side of that, fully functional stainless steel hood here with a light and a fan. Uh, you have this nice, beautiful decorative backsplash above your cooktop. You'll see it is a recessed three burner suburban cooktop with the glass cover. Again, that way you can utilize this as prep space. A little bit over to the side here. There's also an electrical outlet underneath. So, you know, if you want to put your coffee maker or something over there, you can do that. Now this does fold up and back, which also helps this kind of double as a backsplash. That will open up your three burner cooktop. And then you have the oven down below in case you want to do some baking. Over to the side. This is where they put your trash can in here. You can definitely leave it there. Uh, as I mentioned, I'd probably put it under the sink, but to each their own. Last thing I want to talk about in the kitchen here is the residential refrigerator. I love the fact that Sabre has this. Uh, you know, it's definitely geared towards someone that's going to go where you have shore power. You don't want one if you're going to be doing a lot of boondocking. But if you have the shore power, the residential refrigerator is awesome. Not only does it give you a ton of cold storage space in here, but also it cools down much quicker. It's much more efficient. You don't have to have this running overnight. You can just have it running, you know, a couple hours before you go, put your food in here. It'll be nice and cold when you get there because it has an inverter that is running while you're going down the road to make sure it is functioning. Uh, so big refrigerator space here. You can see you have the nice, they nicknamed it the cool zone. Uh, basically though, a crisper drawer right down there, which is great. And then underneath you have two large freezer compartments. The first one you'll see here is nice and open. The second one will have a divider built in. Uh, but again, excellent freezer space there. In case you want to throw in, you know, some popsicles, pizza rolls, something like that. 
Let's take a look right over here. So this is gonna be kind of, again, you know, one of the main features about uh, this RV. I showed you the big rear living area. You kind of have a farm style door leading into this room, which is great. And then if we, uh, I'll take a step in here, kind of take a look. Um, so this is really a really nice bonus room in here. You see right up top, you have a bunk bed, 300 pound weight capacity up there, uh, window up top there as well. So good sleeping space. This does fold up and locks out of the way here. And then that reveal underneath your sofa right down here. Now this one is a jackknife style sofa, you know, so it's your standard just lifts up and drops right down. But the nice thing about a jackknife is if you look right under there, it's a little dark, but if you can see under there, there is extra storage, which is really nice. So uh, that way you have a spot to store your bedding in here. You don't have to worry about, you know, where you're gonna put it, store it under there when you need it, get it out. Otherwise, this makes just a really nice, comfortable room for uh, you know the kids to hang out in, or if you want to hang out in here, you know maybe you're thinking about going full time, you want some separate rooms, some separation. Someone can hang out in here and watch TV. Someone can be in the rear living area uh, because this does have TV hookup right here, so you know you're all set. Hook up your TV there. Got a nice angle right at the couch to be able to watch that. Cubby hole right here. A couple large drawers there underneath. They're nice and deep. And then right over here to the side, you have some good storage. You'll see you have a hanging rod up top and then, uh, you know, a nice uh, shelf storage there down below. So again, you know, that way if this is used as a bunk room, you have a spot for the kids' clothes. So we take a quick look at the bathroom here. Right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Uh, you'll see you obviously have plenty of room, uh, both for your legs as well as, you know, a lot of space to the side here, which is great. Linen closet over here too. Excellent space for your towels and all your other bathroom goodies right there. A very large shower. You see the shower here, you have plenty of space. I'll step in here just to kind of give you a, a reference point. I'm six foot and you see I have a ton of room here. So, uh, you know, you, unless you're a giant, you'll probably fit in here quite well. But the nice big skylight, you can see how big and open this is. This really lets in a lot of natural light there. You have some shelves over to the side as well as a seat. So if you want to, you know, sit down and shave your legs, something like that, you're able to do that. And then you have the hand wand right here, which makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse. Uh, as we take a step back out, you see your sink top and vanity. Very large sink in the Saber bathrooms, which is nice. That way, you know, you have plenty of space to wash your hands. You can see the faucet actually comes out nice and far here, so you have room. A lot of times, for whatever reason, manufacturers set the faucets way back and your hands are jammed into the, the back of the sink. Not the case here. Also makes it easier to, uh, you know, brush your teeth, do whatever else you have to do in here. Right up top, mirrored medicine cabinet, you do have storage behind that. Electrical outlet over here to the side. And then right underneath, you have some additional storage. So we take a look at the bedroom here. Look at the bed. There's something that's very unique about this bed is it is on a power bed system. So uh, what basically happens is you touch a button, this sucker comes up just like it is, it raises the head up, which does a couple of really nice things. One, it gives you a nicer angle if you wanna read a book or watch TV. And two, it makes it easier to climb out of bed. You know, if uh, you're a little bit older and sometimes you struggle to get out, having it lift up can make it a little bit easier. Uh, the headboard itself, you have that nice decorative wall board up there, which is kind of cool. You have windows on either side to let in some natural light, as well as LED reading lights in the top of the slide there. So again, that way you can read a book at night. Across the front, you have this really cool farm style or barn style doors here, which I really like, you know, a really neat, uh, you know, kind of a almost unique look that they have. That you see a lot in the residential side of things, but you just don't really see it in the RV side. So I like the fact the manufacturers, you know, try to take some of those residential trends and put them into the RV world. Uh, right up top, you have a, uh, a nice big shelf right up there, which is great, you know, for any uh, folded clothes. And then underneath you have this large hanging rod. So you have good hanging storage as well as a very large shoe rack there in the back. So, you know, nice little shoe closet. And then you have good floor uh, space here as well. You also see over on this side, you have washer dryer hookup. So if you do want washer and dryer, this is where it would go. At the foot of the bed, you have a window here as well as a little set of drawers. So, you know, not that they're anything super huge, but it's enough for, you know, your undergarments, uh, your socks, whatever else you need to throw in there. And then right up top here, you will see they do have TV connections as well as a TV backer built into the wall. 
Second thing, I, or last thing rather, I do want to mention is this right over here. You will also see this one is equipped with a second AC. So on those days it's really hot or if you're you know, staying in Arizona where it's constantly warm, you will be rest assured it'll be nice and cool here in the 36 BHQ. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look on some of the outside features of the Sabre 36 BHQ. Starting right up front here, you have the front cap. You'll notice how it is cut back just a little bit in order to give you a little extra turn radius while backing this uh, unit up. You'll also notice you have LED lights. You have a strip right down here in the bottom as well as some individual lights running up the side just to give it that kind of uh, cool look there at night. If we take a look underneath at the front compartment, uh, you'll see this is a nice open compartment here. What they've done is they tried to maximize your space. You know, a lot of manufacturers put the wall in here, but they opened it up so you have uh, both the access to the front as well as to the side right here. Uh, you know, just a little peek into construction. You can see the nice moisture barrier they wrapped around right there. Just something you don't see very often. I, I like the fact that uh, you can actually see it there. Also over to the side, you'll see the battery disconnect. That's really nice, so you don't have to constantly get into the battery box. You can just flip that switch and you are good to go here. Um, another neat feature while we're in here is you have the LED light strip. It's not just a standard light, you have a strip going all the way across. Uh, you know, that way again, if you do have to get in here, it brightens up the whole space. Take a look over to the side real quick here. This is your lights up front, nice and easy to switch those on and off, but right above that is your four point electric auto level. I literally just touch a button and it makes it super simple. It basically does the rest for you, which is awesome. You can see the auto level here. You have two up front. We'll see the, the rest of me go in the back there. Uh, but in case you don't remember how to use it or you want to know, you know, say you see a blinking light, what does that mean? Everything is right here on this little uh, sticker outside. So it is a nice little reference guide there for you. And again, if you do forget, you have that control panel inside. You can use that as well. And as I previously mentioned, that is an excellent excellent reference. Coming around to the side here, you do have uh, solar prep. So if you want solar, all I have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery for you. Over here on the side, propane. You have two 20 pound tanks on here. Uh, personally, I kind of wish the manufacturer would have gave you 30s, but if you want 30s, it is big enough to put it in there. So it definitely is still something that can be done, uh, but just so you know, it does come with 20s. The advantage of 20s, however, is you can swap these out. So if it's a Sunday and you can't find a place to refill them, you can always swap the tanks out in a pinch. Moving down a little bit further, we'll open this compartment up here. This is one of the uh, side compartments, as I mentioned, nice open storage all the way through there. Making our way back a little bit further here. Open this guy up. So this is really cool. Sabre does this on a couple of their units in one of their storage areas. They give you an outside refrigerator. For me, this is huge. Uh, you know, this is one of the main things I want in an outside kitchen is a refrigerator. It's where I put some of my beverages. It's where I can put my condiments, my ketchup, you know, whatever else for our burgers or hot dogs we're gonna grill up. I just love having it out here. You can see you have a ton of nice storage out here as well. And you have more electrical outlets in here than you can shake a stick at. They put a ton of outlets in here. Uh, first, it may kind of seem like overkill, and it probably is in all reality, but it does allow you to do some really cool things in here. So if you want a TV, this is where you can hook your TV up at. You see you have your cable outlet right there. Also, if you want to put an ice maker in here, you can plug in an ice maker. You know, you want to put a blender out here. You want your own little margarita bar. You can do that too. Uh, so it does give you a lot of options. You know, maybe you want your uh, tools in there. You want to put, you know, your toolbox in here and charge up your drill. You're able to do that as well. So, uh, you know, even though there is a lot of outlets, honestly, I think you can probably utilize a lot of them. It's nice and easy to get into the 36 BHQ. You have the foldable easy grab handle right here as well as three foldable steps. Right up top, nice large power awning there. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. It does have an adjustable pitch so that way you can have the rain water uh, run off. And you'll also see an LED light strip underneath. That way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Coming back a little further here, let's take a look at the wheels. Uh, you'll see that the uh, wheels on here are aluminum alloy, which are really nice. None of those look great. 
They also won't rust on you, less chance for corrosion. And look at these little guys. I like the fact they put those on there too. Uh, those just show you that your tires are at pressure. They're green when it's good. It flips to red if you have to refill it. Uh, simple mechanical thing, but you know, it's nice. It's a lot easier than having to go and check them every time. You just take a look, yep, good, good, and go around. Uh, again, I think that's a, you know, probably not cost the manufacturer a ton, but I do like the fact they are on there. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, right up top here above the uh, above this second storage, you see you do have two outside speakers. Uh, if you want to be able to rock out some music wire out here, those are the speakers that will allow you to do so. Those are hooked up to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. Let's come around to the back here a second. Right down in the back, you'll see this unit does have a propane quick connect. So, uh, if you want to bring a small little grill, or if you have a cooktop, right? They did put a rail on here. So if you have the style cooktop that you can put on the rail, put it right here, plug it in, you're all set. Uh, it is a little high, you know, because again, you are on a fifth wheel, but at least you have the capability of doing that. And again, I generally bring a grill when I go camping, so I like having a quick connect. It's nice and easy. And uh, again, I can use the big bottles of propane rather than having to constantly bring the small little green ones. Right on the back, here's your spare tire with a cover. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here. It's an excellent peace of mind. That is attached to the cargo rack, which I also love. The reason being, a lot of people don't know this, but if you attach anything to a bumper of an RV, most manufacturers will void your warranty. I know it sounds silly, but that is a true statement. So by having this cargo rack that comes with it, you know your warranty will still be intact. And on here, you know, you can uh, fasten some bikes to it if you want, you can load up totes, you can put wood back there, whatever you want, but I do like the fact it comes with it there. Then attached to the back is your rear ladder so you can climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof, and as with any RV, I do recommend getting up there at least once or twice a year uh, just for preventative maintenance. You'll also see you have backup camera prep. Uh, so if you want a backup camera, all you have to do is buy the Furion camera, and that makes it a lot easier, which means a lot cheaper to have installed. If we take a look outside here, you'll see that your uh, furnace vent is on the off-door side, so it's not impeding your camp space, which is nice. 10-gallon suburban water heater there. And then if we open up your pass-through right over here, you will see that all of your water connections are right there. Uh, you'll notice you have your fresh water hookup right here, city water right next to that, black tank flush underneath, you have your hand shower there, outside shower with hot and cold access, and your TV hookups. Yep. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Sabre 36 BHQ. This one is in the Espresso interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.